We know that driven by climate change, global average surface temperatures have been rising significantly in recent decades, and this has led to a rising number of extreme weather events. But no location on the surface of the Earth experiences the global average temperature. Temperatures vary both with time and location, and thus so do temperature extremes. In this video, we will examine the spatial and temporal distribution of extreme temperature events in the United States. This examination will lead us to the inescapable conclusion that increasing greenhouse gas emissions are causing nighttime temperatures to rise faster than daytime temperatures. The New York Times recently published an article reporting that about 10.6% of U.S. weather stations reported new record temperatures during 2021. That made for a rather sensational headline, but 2021 was an outlier for the number of new temperature records. In the past 30 years, only 1994 had a similar number of new temperature records recorded. What is far more important and informative in the chart that accompanied the article is a comparison of the number of new record daily high temperatures recorded in the past 30 years with the number of new record daily low temperatures recorded during the same period. In the chart, the new record highs are shown in orange and the new record lows in blue. If the climate were stable, that is, if it was neither warming nor cooling, the number of new record highs and new record lows would be about the same. But as even the most casual observer can see, such is not the case. The number of new record high temperatures far outweighs the number of new record lows. Uh, this is the signature of a warming climate. This chart is based on U.S. Weather Bureau data going back to 1910. It shows the percentage of U.S. land area reporting new record daytime high temperatures in red and the number of new record nighttime high temperatures in orange. In a stable climate environment, daytime temperatures generally are significantly higher than nighttime temperatures, and we would expect to see more daytime records broken than nighttime ones. From 1910 up to about 1960, this was the case. From about 1960 to 1990, the number of new record high daytime and nighttime temperatures were roughly equal. But starting in 1990, we see nighttime high temperature records being broken at a faster rate than daytime high temperature records. This is extraordinarily interesting because it is at night that the surface of the Earth cools by infrared radiation and upward convection. This is this is strong evidence that the growing concentration of greenhouse gases, uh, mainly CO2 and water vapor in the lower atmosphere and CO2 in the upper atmosphere, is forcing the surface temperature to rise. This chart focuses on new record low temperatures. We see that on days when the daytime temperature set new record lows, shown by the blue, so do the nighttime temperatures shown by the purple line. And that is that as we might expect. What is most striking about this graph is the relative paucity of new record low temperatures from about 1990 to the present. This figure is based on data from the past 30 years. It shows the geographical distribution of very warm days across the lower 48 states. What is clear from the data is that the western half of the country and the east coast is where new high temperature records are being set, while in the Midwest, fewer new high temperature records are occurring. This is a similar distribution of extreme cold temperatures across the lower 48 states. The results are consistent with the previous figure. In the western half of the country and along the east coast, many fewer record cold temperatures were recorded during the past 30 years. But at the same time, the number of very cold days in the Midwest remained about the same as before. This chart shows the percentage of U.S. weather stations that reported much below average temperatures 
they, those were given in blue, and much above average temperatures, those were in red, during the, the years between 1910 and 2020. Over the entire time span, only slightly more stations reported extremely high temperatures than extremely low temperatures. However, from about 1985 on, that ratio has changed dramatically with in recent years, extremely high temperatures far outweighing extremely low temperatures. Here's what we can conclude from these temperature records. The number of new record high temperatures has been increasing with time, while the number of record low temperatures has been decreasing. But most importantly, nighttime temperatures are rising much faster than daytime temperatures. This can't happen in a stable climate, but this is completely consistent with the increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. This is because with higher greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere, nighttime surface temperatures have to increase to ensure that the amount of thermal energy leaving the Earth balances the incoming solar energy in the short run. The inescapable conclusion is that, the, is that increasing temperatures are caused by the emission of CO2 and other greenhouse gases released when fossil fuels are burned. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends. In addition, please click on the Circle M and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, click to see my other climate change videos.